In this study, we developed polymer-based biocompatible and biodegradable theranostic nanoparticles that can be used as cancer contrast and therapeutic agents for optical imaging and treatment of breast cancer. Core shell nanoparticles were prepared by nanoprecipitation of amphiphilic block copolymers. The hydrophobic core was used to load the chemotherapeutic drug doxorubicin for drug delivery. A protease cleavable polypeptide polyallylysin is used as a site for the conjugation of near infrared fluorescent molecules Alexa Fluor 750 for optical imaging. If nanoparticles are delivered to the cancer site, the polypeptide can be cleaved by overexpressed proteases of tumor and cleaved peptide fragments fluorescence. We prepared blank, dox-loaded and alexafluor label dox-loaded nanoparticles. The diameter of spherical nanoparticles was in the range of 60 to 80 nanometers. Their size can allow passive targeting to cancer. Fluorescence activation of nanoparticles by treatment with trypsin resulted in a range of a 33-fold optical signal enhancement within 4 hours. Non-protease cleavable control didn't increase significantly upon interaction with trypsin. Dox was encapsulated at a loading of 3% and controllably released about 62% within 30 days. The drug release of nanoparticles is not too fast and gives advantage nanoparticles to have enough time to reach the tumor site. Breast carcinoma cells were exposed to blank nanoparticles for three days to determine their cytocompatibility. The cells exposed to nanoparticles had high viability even at high concentrations. This study suggests that the nanoparticles are biocompatible. Dox-loaded nanoparticles showed dose-dependent decreases in cell viability more than that of the cells treated with dox HCL, especially in the range of 10 and 100 micromolar. Fluorescent microscopy was used to investigate the ability of nanoparticles to mediate near-infrared fluorescence and dox delivery to cells. An increase in near-infrared fluorescent intensity was observed throughout the four-day study, suggesting that the fluorescence was being activated by the cells. A decreased cell density was observed over time due to the growth inhibition induced by doxorubicin. This work describes the preparation of biodegradable and biocompatible polymeric nanoparticles as theranostic agents for cancer. Future work will investigate the behavior of these nanoparticles in vivo as well as investigate the effect of targeting agents on nanoparticle selectivity toward cancer cells. Thank you.